Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So today I want to talk to you about a problem that sadly affects millions of Americans every year. It's a disaster and that is wireless garage door openers that don't function reliably. We all hate that. We've had a hard day at work, we're in our driveway, we just want to get inside and have some dinner and this guy fails us. Anyway, I've got a really quick hack for this garage door opener that will extend its range and reliability. The cool thing is the hack will only take you about 15 minutes to install and will cost you about a dollar. It's super easy. So let's jump into this project and fix this garage door. So the parts list to complete this project could not be shorter. You really need one thing and possibly two if you're a perfectionist. Now the one item you have to have is a 10 to 15 foot piece of low voltage copper wire. That low voltage wire can be like something like stereo wire, ethernet wire, an old telephone wire. I'm sure many of you have this kind of stuff floating around your house. Now for those perfectionists out there, you might require some electrical tape just to wrap things up. You know, we're not going for any awards here. So let me go and see if I can find some wire that'd be suitable for this project. All right, that would work. That looks good as well. Ah, jackpot. All right guys, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get some work done. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is look for our antenna from our garage door opener. This wire right here, this is just coming from the base of my garage door opener. Now what we're gonna wanna do is remove about half inch of insulation from that antenna wire and our new wire so we can connect the two together. Let me show you how to do that. So here's your wire right here. Here's a pair of wire strippers. Just match it up with the thickness of the wire. Pull it back and you can see the copper's exposed. Now that can connect to my antenna up there. That easy! Next, measure and cut about 20 feet of your new extension antenna wire. Next, twist the wire from the new antenna extension to the original antenna. You can do this by hand or you can use a pair of pliers if you like. Again, we're not going for any like crazy awards here. When you're done there, if you want electrical tape, that's, that's legit right there. That's super legit. So the next step is to run your new antenna extension along the whole length of your garage door opener. Once you reach the header of your garage door with your new antenna extension wire, you can either cut it right there or run it on the outside. Now I would absolutely suggest running it outside because you will definitely extend the range of your antenna at that point. What I'm going to do now is just cut the wire right here so it's flush there, get a piece of tape, put it like that, and we're golden. Let's go do some testing. So you just put a lot of effort in this project. Let's see if it's gonna pay off for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to see if we can control the door further with or without the hat. Let's go. All right guys, it is time for the wrap up. So I just crunched the numbers and I'm pretty impressed with the results of this hack. So basically, with the non-hack version of the garage door, I was able to control it for about 125 feet. Now with the hack version, that moves out to about 200 feet. So that's a really good result. And for the little bit of effort and time I had to put into this, I'm happy with that. So if you like this video, please show your appreciation by hitting that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content. And with that, guys, that's it. We're out of here. I'll see you guys around real soon.